so hello everyone welcome back to has for education today we will be looking into the higher magnification drawing which we usually do for the individual cells when the examiner asks us to draw the epidermal cells or the pith cells or the cortex cells as well as they can be the xylem cells i have also attached some of the slides here which we will be using to draw the cells and i will be showing you that how we actually draw the individual cells when it comes to the higher magnification drawing so now let's begin the first slide which we have is about the dicot leaf so this is the the slide of a dicot leaf so the examiner will usually just uh, require you to first make the plan diagram of this and then after the, that you, uh, in the B part they will be asking you to select a group of four cells or group of five cells the number can vary but they will uh, for sure ask you about the the individual cells it can be from the epidermis they can also ask you about the cells that are near to the epidermis so in this case i have just chosen the epidermis cells so when they ask you about the individual cells this is the 10x view of this slide of the dicot leaf which is actually used to draw the plan diagram but when you are making uh, the individual cells you are going to be uh, shifting it to the 40x so you can see that i have chosen these four cells which i have uh, just embedded in a rectangle so I have chosen these four cells so when it comes to making these four cells what we will be doing is that we will be just making the shape of these cells as we can see but when it comes to making the internal structures as it is also not visible in the 40x we will use our own knowledge to make the internal structures for example you can see the the strained structures this and this so these are the two of the strained structures these are actually the nucleus while in the two other cells that are between them you cannot see anything but uh, it will be appearing as blank uh, blank cells so we will be using our knowledge of the epidermal cells to just uh, represent the internal structure so we know that the epidermis cell, uh, cells have a nucleus also they have a vacuole but they do not have a chloroplast so we can make the the nucleus and the vacuole in or the four of them or any two of them if they are asking about four cells also they sometimes ask you about making four cells and they just uh, put up a condition like each cell should touch two other cells uh, but this is less common in the epidermal cells this is most common in the cortex cells because in that we have to show the intercellular spaces so now i will show you the drawing i have made of these four cells so this is the drawing i have made so you can see that i have represented the cell wall and the cell membrane with the the, the cell wall with the double wall also one thing to point out here is that whenever you are making the cell wall you have to use double lining when uh, when uh, any cell that contains a cell wall that is uh, to be represented with a double lining while the while the cells which have only cell surface membrane we are going to use only uh, one line to to make the outer boundary so you can see here that i have used this double lining one line is this and the other is this one so this is actually representing the cell wall while the middle structure this this is the vacuole and this is the nucleus also one thing to mention here that whenever you are drawing the cells for example if uh, this is one of the cell of the epidermis and now I am making another cell 
so you have to begin right from here okay right from here some students they do a thing like they just draw it like here like this another cell like this so what this actually shows is that an overlapping cell which is not allowed and this will cause you to lose marks when we trace the the cell wall of this it will end up in the in the other cell so it actually uh, just shows and represents an overlapping cell so you do not have to commit this mistake so this was the drawing of the epidermal cells next we have a slide of the of the dicot stem so in this we have just picked up the cells which are inside the box it's a bit blurry but you can see it clearly so we have chosen uh, we can choose any of the cells inside the box in case if they ask us to draw the pith cells they can also ask us to draw the cells that, that are near to the epidermis like these cells or you, they can also uh, ask you to the to draw the cortex cells like this one so you have to be answering it according to the to the requirement so here i have just uh, chosen the pit cells so these are the four of the i have chosen four of the pit cells from here and this is the drawing of the pit cells so now as i uh, said earlier that we are going to be drawing the structures as shown and we are also be going to showing the the intercellular space so this is the intercellular space this is the intercellular space that i have drawn so you are going to be showing it clearly in the case of the pit cells or the cortex cells other than that i have used my own knowledge to to represent that it has a vacuole and it has a nucleus so this is the nucleus and this is the vacuole so this is the nucleus and this is the vacuole so i hope it's clear then let's move on to other type of cells that the, uh, the examiner can usually ask it is the xylem cell so you can see that these structures are the vascular bundles and this part is the xylem this is the cambium and the, this is the phloem so what they can do is that they can ask you about to draw uh, two or three xylem cells so the 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 most important thing about the xylem cells is that they have a lignified cell wall so you are going to be showing that in your higher magnification drawing how are we going to be showing that is that we are uh, just going to be uh, keeping the space like for example if this is the first line if this is the second line we are going to be this we are going to be keeping this space a bit more to show the lignified cell wall okay and the other thing that is present in the cells of the xylem is that they are angular for example if i pick up these three cells they are a bit uh, like this like the curves are sharp so they are not as like uh, they are not rounded structures so they are angular cells so now i have drawn the three of the cells which i have encircled in this um, circle so now let's see so these are the xylem cells you can see that i have made some sharp just some sharp edges like this one and they are actually not as rounded like uh, we draw the other cells other than that i have shown the lignified cell wall by keeping the distance between the two lines a bit more than the usual cells and one thing to point out is that the xylem cells do not have any contents like the nucleus chloroplast vacuole so we are not going to be showing it and we are just uh, gonna make an empty structure so I hope it's clear. Now let's move on to this another image that is about the monocot and that is about the monocot uh, stem. So I have chosen the cortex cells from this. These are the cortex cells we ha which I have just. 
so these are the cortex cells about which I have drawn this boundary so we will be making this these cells let me show you the drawing of these cortex cells so these are the cortex cells similarly um, we are going to be using our own knowledge to show the vacuole and the nucleus also we are going to be uh, showing this intercellular uh, actually there is no intercellular space in these cells but if in case there is we are going to be showing it clearly for example in the uh, if in case if there was a uh, intercellular space so we would be making it like this the first cell was about to be like this then the second one was going to be like this and then the third one would begin like this so this is how we show the intercellular space so this would be the intercellular space so I have shown you how you are going to be drawing the most important kind of the cells that that are actually being asked the epidermal cells the xylem cells the pit cells and the cortex cells other than that they can ask about the cells that, that are being close to the epidermis that are actually the colenchyma cells they are similar similar to the, to the uh, similar to the xylem cells actually and to the cortex cells but they are a little bit a little bit angular not that much angular like the xylem ones but you have to be making it like uh, the ones i have already showed you subscribe and share with anyone who you think it will help i'll be meeting you in another video till then goodbye